Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the description below, whichever way it goes, uh, that I am now finishing my journey with Andor. <laughs> I watched the first three episodes and I, I really started to like like it and I warmed up to it. And then I don't know what happened, if it was the day, if it was the time of day in which I was watching episode four, I shut it off and I stopped my reaction and I just said, I'm not watching this show. I don't know. I I'm, I either watch it at midnight when it premieres or I get up at 4 a.m. and I watch it and I send it to my editor. And uh, I, I can honestly tell you that when you don't have something that's like engrossing you and like really capturing you, whether it's a storyline or it's certain characters, but I, I couldn't find the engrossment that I needed. I couldn't find the passion to like continue to wake up and stay awake. Like I was I was really struggling to get through episode four. So I am gonna do a rewatch, um, which um, I do remember at least a little bit from the episode that Stellan Skarsgård like, you know, had some wonderful acting moments where he was, you know, Luthen. And then when he went from like Luthen, our rebel guy to like the antiquities dealer, it was superb acting. Um, I also remember some good stuff from Mon Mothma. I'll tell you that there was a thunderstorm that was going on outside. And I was more enthralled with that thunderstorm than I was the actual show I was watching. So I don't think that that was really fair of me to do. And I think that I need to give it a different look because everybody that I know that has watched this has said that they love this show, that they can't believe I stopped watching it, that it's so good. Even my editor says it's one of the best shows that he watched in 2022. And I wanted to give it another chance because obviously I'm wrong. And if I'm... If I'm willing to admit that I was wrong, or maybe it's just not for me, but I do feel like that I need to finish my journey and at least come to the conclusion. Because I'll tell you, when you're tired and you're not engrossed in something and it's not really striking you on an emotional level, it's not getting you excited, it's not funny, like there's not like a lot of like quippy remarks, there's not a whole lot of action going on, it's really hard to give you a reaction. Um, and so I was just like, well, maybe this just isn't a reaction worthy show. Um, but a lot of people have said otherwise. So I'm hoping that I give you at least something to enjoy. And if not, then um, that's on me. It just wasn't for me. Um, but I don't think that many people are wrong. I really don't. I really think that I'm probably the minority in the situation and that it just happened to be the circumstance in which I watched that episode. Um, I will tell you the arguing um, between the groups about whether or not Cassian should be joining this late in the game. Um, I got really tired of that really quickly. Now, hopefully from here on out, it picks up and a lot of the story comes back to me um, from what I remember in characters and their storylines. Like I really like Bix and Brasso. Um, so I, I hope we get more of them. I hope we get more of Marva. Um, I'm, I'm sure we will. It, it felt like the first three episodes were really like Cassian's like, I don't want to say an origin story, but it gives you more background about him and why he is the way he is and how he's charged forward the way he does and, and why his sister is, you know, kind of like this, this person that he's seeking to find and whether or not she's dead, alive, she is found or not found, uh, I guess is to be seen. I don't think that they introduce you to that storyline if they don't eventually tell you. That would be cruel. Um, but the, I, I am looking forward to kind of seeing the conclusion of this season and kind of what that means for Cassian, because I love Rogue One. Rogue One, it kind of switches place with Empire for my favorite Star Wars movie. I think that movie is a masterpiece. Um, there's not a whole lot that I would cut out of that movie. Um, I think that it's fantastic. So I really need to give this another shot and I need to be engrossed in it in the way I should. I need to give it the time and the energy that it requires. And I need to change my mindset about my expectations. I, I did not expect lightsaber battles and force users and, and all of that. I know a lot of people were like, oh, just because it wasn't action packed, but it wasn't gripping. And I want it to be gripping. I want a story to take a hold of me and me want to go on that journey. Because when I'm just like, I feel like I want to fight this. Like, I don't want to go with you. I don't care about these characters. I don't care where this goes. Or this is annoying because they keep saying planets I can't recognize and places I don't know and names of people that I don't recognize. And, and I'm just like, I feel like there's a lot of information that I should be like absorbing and I'm not. Um, so I, I'm, I'm hoping I have a new mindset going into it, that this is going to be something that I'm going to enjoy because all of you enjoyed it so much and everybody kept asking for more reactions. And I'm just like, oh, I can't put myself in the place mentally to like go there. And I think now I'm ready. 
I think it's time. So that being said, let's get into it. Oh yeah. I remember too, he gets kicked out. It's all coming back to me a little bit. It's been a while since I've watched it, but had flashes. I think, does he go back to live with his mom? Something like that. I mean, I forget what, what an awesome title sequence they have too. It's so simple, but like, so like, just cool. Rebel Alliance. I just felt very happy seeing that. So I guess that's a good sign. I haven't agreed to do anything but save my skin. Very Cassian of him. Um, there you are, with your skin. Will you come with me and help with something important? Help with something important. And of course, you could try and kill me and take the ship. I imagine that no matter what you tell me or tell yourself, you'll ultimately die fighting these bastards. Oof. Wouldn't you rather give it all at once? something real then carve off useless pieces till there's nothing left damn you survive and deliver I'll give you 200,000 it'll change your life what would we be stealing mm. the quarterly payroll for an entire imperial site that'll get the empire's attention very quickly especially the people that didn't get their payroll checks Oh yeah, this chick. I remember she really wanted to like make a name for herself or make a statement that she's really good at her job. My staff is awaiting an assessment from Avala's Six's ministerial director. Because they've done such an excellent job so far, hmm? This guy's such a dick. <laughs> Levin, Morlana's sector, this incident on Ferrix. Corporate security, <laughs> yes. sir. They're still in charge out there. They tried to serve a warrant and ran into more trouble than they'd anticipated. Trouble meaning what? Several dead. Property damage. Ass handed to him. Proactive measures, sir. There's an increase in construction shipments going to Scarif, sir. Oh yeah. I know Scarif. I know what's happening on Scarif. I know what happens on Scarif. Alright, getting to the group that was annoying the crap out of me by saying how much they didn't want Cassian around. <laughs> Which I get, like when you are a group and you're coming together, a new person wrenching the gears. She's gonna hate this idea to start. She's gonna argue with me. Mm hmm. Yes, they all do. <laughs> Take this. Oh, I forgot about the Kyber crystal. Blue Kyber, Skystone, the ancient world. Right. I want it back when this is over. If I live. He wouldn't give it to you if he didn't think he'd get it back. God, this, like, scenery, though. The countryside, like... The fact that... I think the majority of this was all practical stuff, which I love that, but, like, being on location, it's just stunning. Five months in, just... Plug in some new person. It'll tear the team apart. Well, that's not much of a team, is it? That's yeah, a fair point. But tell them it was always a part of the plan. Are you giving me a choice here? Yeah. Mm -mm. You take him, we'll call it off. I was planning to shut you down. And if he's the problem? Well, that's the advantage of renting him. He's disposable. Hmm. You will not return to your living quarters. You will leave here and be escorted with haste to the transfer center. Question, sir. No. <laughs> And no, you will not waste further Imperial time reading the reports. But I've had nothing to do with this. Well, exactly. Yeah, where were you? Seriously? Ask Petrina. My files are filled with corporate security fiascos, but this takes the prize. Mm. And you, Poor Deputy Karn. Inspector Khan. Proud, are we? He really tried, though. He really did. As of this morning, the Milana system is under permanent imperial authority. Congratulations on that. 
Karn just wanted to do what was right. Like, I'm still behind Karn 100%, even though I love Cassian. Like, I'm behind Karn. He just wanted to do what was right. He didn't want to do what he was told. <laughs> but what was right. He is something we will never discuss. When we get to camp, we're going to tell them this was my idea and we've been planning it all the while. He told me about the payroll, not the garrison. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duck. Get down, tuck in! Oh, I never get tired of that sound. I love it. They've misspelt ferrex. Where is my star path unit? <laughs> you said it in the meeting. It's got to be here. Oh, that's why she went and looked at her computers, because the star path unit. Landing protocol 037. Protocol 037. Oh, is this the outfit change scene? It's so good. Between his voice, his hair, his outfits, his mannerisms. It was just amazing. Stellan Skarsgård is just amazing. Skarsgård? Skarsgård? Aldani has the unfortunate quality of being close to nothing and not very far away from everything. Mm. It's the perfect hub for um, distribution. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to steady the ladder before you start climbing. I'm not looking for career advice. <laughs> you fall here. You fall alone. Don't look down. I don't understand why he wouldn't let her have the files, though. Other than to be a prick. Everyone's dead. <laughs> don't tell Val. I won't. You will. Yeah. You better think what you're going to say, because she's coming down now. It's actually a good leader telling him you gotta turn yourself in. Admit your mistakes. There's two. And I here we go. That. <laughs> what a warm welcoming party. <laughs> Who the F are you and what the F do you want? Can I speak with you? Let's get Clem settled in. Good to have you, Clem. We'll take all the help we can get. Cinta, feed him. <laughs> I have this thing that I do where I always have empathy for somebody like someone like Karn, and then I regret it later on because they prove that like they didn't really deserve that empathy. <laughs> I hope he doesn't prove me wrong in this series. He just wanted to do what was right. Symbolism of the elevator going darker and darker and lower and lower. <laughs> That's where his soul is now. <laughs> the basement. Mother. Oh, huh, good timing with the neighbor. What are you staring at? <laughs> I, I, I hope they go in on what that was about. <laughs> this late in the game. As opposed to you when? trust him with our lives? That's my call to make. He's committed. I'm feeling that. I want hmm. to. Feel what? His belief in the cause. When it comes down to it, that's all I need to know. That's nice. I like Nemec. <laughs> our girl. Never in my life would I have thought that we'd get like a Mon Mothma like backstory. It's hard being surrounded with this much history and not be humbled by the insignificance of our daily anxiety. Oh yeah, a lot of people were mentioning there were a lot of Easter eggs and all of this stuff. And I'll just let you know ahead of time, I'm not going to recognize any of it. And a serpent from the overworld sharing the same mouth. <laughs> if you can't deliver, I need to know. Do you think I'm not trying? I never think that. Uh, they're watching everyone. This is different. They're everywhere. I visit the bank, they're all new faces. You got a new driver. I feel under siege. I found someone I think can help me. To bring into the circle? No. I know what I'm asking. No. We're vulnerable enough. We need funding, not more people to worry about. Don't lecture me on vulnerability. No one's more at risk than I am. And he's the one that brought Cassian in. <laughs> 
Why wouldn't the driver have just stayed with the car or the ship? Whatever it is. <laughs> He's obviously watching her and spying on her. I like the stuff that gives me nostalgia isn't like, oh, it's Chewbacca, like it's a speeder and the sound of it. He's with us. Come meet the new guy. <laughs> no, I didn't. What the hell is going on? When did this happen? We need another hand, and you know it. I should have been consulted. On that, we agree. Hmm. Yeah, the luxury in which she lives is insane. It's beautiful. But her husband seems like a mess. Don't seat them near me. Oh, I've taken care of that. You're at the boring end of the table. These people are fun. Ouch. Don't do this again. There's yeah. a rumor you bought me a present. It's going back. Parents Must everything be dick. boring and sad? Ugh. He's just insufferable. It's a suicide run. Sounds like it. Exactly. That's why they only keep a 40-man regiment in the garrison. Because they know no one's stupid enough to try it. No one but us. <laughs> Once every three years, for as long as anyone can remember. The Eldanis gather in this valley for a celestial event they call Makani Bredani, the Eye of Aldani. The Eye of Aldani. Imagine 50 meteor showers all at once, but like a curtain being pulled across the sky. You've seen this? I've been here almost seven years. I've seen it twice. That's amazing. I can't wait to see it. It's a recurrent band of crystallized noctilus at microdensities, billions of crystals. Very heavy, but small and unstable. As the planet oh, passes through the belt, they swarm the atmosphere, heat up, and explode. Just ruin the magic, why don't you? Now, you've got a lot to learn and very little time to do it. So, what we need to know is, are you in all the way? He doesn't have a choice. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah, this guy. The Starpath unit that was recovered at the scene has been traced to a theft at an airbase under my jurisdiction, sir. She's overreaching to increase the size of her portfolio. So what? It is my feeling that this is part of an ongoing effort to steal proprietary Imperial equipment in anticipation of an organized rebellion. I have three previous case files on my desk that begin to suggest a pattern. She's really smart. Because it's true. Alert me when this materializes into something more definite. Until then, confine future activities to your sectors. Thank you, Lieutenant. Wouldn't it be easier to do that with that information? I don't know what's so bad about her wanting to do an investigation just a little bit further with that information. That's the Rono Freighter specs and the console layout. You get done with that? That's a detailed map of the garrison. That's an Aldani phrase book. Can I eat my food? <laughs> okay, so you know what? That, that episode wasn't bad. I don't know why I remember it being so boring. I, it had to have been the time of day that I was watching it and the mindset that I had going into it because it was really good. It also might be because I've seen it before, but okay. I stand corrected. It's good stuff. Skeen, Taramin, Nemec, Sinta. And Lieutenant Gorn. Who is he? He's Clem. He's here. That's all that matters. I'm still not going to remember that. Skeen, Temerick, Nemec, Cinta, Gorn. I'm glad we're starting with Karn. I want to know what's up with him. I want to give him a hug. I feel bad for him. This lucky. He's sad. Oh, blue milk. You might as well wear a sign that says, I promise to disappoint you. Mm. Well, we kind of see where he gets it. You have no future prospects. 
Jeez. What is it you'll be asking for? Yeah. Someone who'll take you on, Cyril. Mm. Setting the bar high, are we? Oh, poor Karn. He should just become an Imperial officer. If they'd have him. It's all there. Mel asked me to have a look. Mm. I think she's having second thoughts. And, uh, who, whose is this? Didn't get a name. <laughs> you didn't stop to ask. They built a lot of cages, huh? The axe forgets, but the tree remembers. Hmm. Now it's our turn to do the chopping. And that makes a surprise. He's green, but he's all in. He's a true believer. Nothing but the cause for him. Then <laughs> there's Cinta. Probably the toughest one here. I love that. She's already sharing a blanket, if that's what you're wondering. Mm. <laughs> I don't think he was. Without him, there's no plan. He could be walking us right into a trap. They would have taken us down by now. Well, maybe that's what you're here for. The distrust just is so irritating. They've all must have been burned really bad before. Her digs are spectacular. Get your coat. It's not up for discussion. Are you serious? Just go. You're off the hook. You enjoying this? Get your coat. It's out of your way anyway, so what's the point? You need yours, man. That's my point. It's all about you, isn't it? It's always all about you. Is this really how you'd like to start the day? I didn't choose this conversation. Hey. I so appreciate the support. She's going to be somebody amazing someday, and that's how her family's talking to her. Ooh, that's humbling. Tray milk. Is it blue? Oh, at least it's not blue. You can live on it. You may question your existence after a few days. <laughs> Me with regular milk. We've grown reliant on Imperial tech and we've made ourselves vulnerable. There's a growing list of things we've known and forgotten, things they've pushed us to forget. Things like freedom. Smart. That makes these oppression everywhere. Scheme mm -hmm. pretends not to listen, but I know the message is sinking in. <laughs> <laughs> I like Nemec. The pace of repression outstrips our ability to understand it, and that is the real trick of the Imperial Thought Machine. It's easier to hide behind 40 atrocities than a single incident. But they have a fight on their hands, don't they? I haven't titled it yet. I've been waiting. It's a work in progress. And I know that there's a great deal left to say. I mean, look. Fresh inspiration. Two seemingly random objects, and yet this charts an astral path. This maps the trail of political consciousness. Both systems based on truth, both navigating toward clear and achievable outcomes. Basic facts expanding Blame. toward... I like Nemec. <laughs> you don't trust him. I barely trust mm. you. Mm. Aww, that's not nice. Why isn't this in the manual? Because it's a custom job. It's it's an add-on. Well, good thing Cassian oh, came along. I wasn't here. Yeah. I I'm flying it. We can say it's your idea. I don't care, but if it's my ass on the line, I'm pulling this thing out of there. I like it. Way to take charge, Cassian. I like that a lot. Good thing they got him, huh? All this complaining about somebody new. Shoulders back. More. Don't touch me. <laughs> it's making me do shoulders back. Oh, are we back on Ferrix? Do you want it or not? The assignment? No, you're taking the assignment. I was asking if this would do as your headquarters. Oh. Could I be made prefect? The title, I know it doesn't come with extra pay. You can wear a ball gown if you'd like. Just get this up and running before my next staff meeting. I like Blevins. <laughs> we belong here. We're following orders. Lieutenant Gorn will be out front. He's the leader. He's the gatekeeper. I like this. Squad. Hope. Good soldiers. You should switch. What? He's left-handed. Why? <laughs> yeah, why? Why switch sides? Skin is left-handed. You want your weapon on the outside. It's an important detail. Uh-oh. 
Cover the gun. It's gone. That does not mean that I they're not. I don't think so. Yeah, they could sweep back. Scary, but so cool. Dick. They'll soon see. Surprise from above is never as shocking as one from below. <laughs> Team Nemec. It's less than a hundred last time. Still enough to smell him, right? Can you imagine this place with a couple of thousand of them? Get about your business, Corporal. I'll be making rounds tomorrow night and I expect you at your station. So yes, sir. Get ready for the eye. I'm ready for the eye. I really want to see this. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just moving your stuff. Don't. It was in the way. Don't ever. Skeen is giving me vibes. I feel like that necklace is going to get him in trouble if he's wearing an Imperial uniform. I don't know what I'm doing. About any of it. Yes, you do. You're onto something. Kessel. Fondor. It's too spread out to be organized. But you don't believe that. If I was them, this is how I'd do it. I'd spread Ooh. it out. Never climb the same fence twice. It's too Art. random to be random. She's a smart cookie. Oh, they have to burn everything, huh? Get rid of the evidence. Don't go getting drunk the night before. That's a bad idea. <laughs> to the rebellion. To the rebellion. To the rebellion. Lieutenant Gorn. What's an Imperial Lieutenant doing getting involved with this? He fell in love with a local woman, lost a promotion. Then he lost the woman. Mm. Then he lost his taste for the Empire. Then do it. Everyone has their own rebellion. Great line. Aldani, sir. It's not many people's first choice assignment. The thing you hear when posted to Aldani is that perhaps you'll be lucky enough to be there for the eye. The idea of being this close and not seeing it. Everybody wants to see it. I'll be here midday, and I expect to see it shine. Absolutely, Make sure. sir. Make sure the men know how close they've come. That worked out well. <laughs> yeah, let them go all enjoy it. They'll all be looking up as they skirt away. So smart. So smart. But they, they set it up themselves. Love it. Don't move. What the hell? How do you know what'll happen? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. There we go. I knew it. I knew you were lying. I knew it. About what? I need to know who I'm riding with. You know exactly who I am. And you know I'll kill you for it. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Put the weapon away. Give him the stone. You can kill each other later. Yeah. I'm being paid. There it is. Paid to be here. Okay. What? Yeah, I'm here for the money. You can't live with that? I'm not worth it? I'll walk away and wish you luck. You think we're scared? I know you are. Should be. Of course I'm afraid. But there's a difference between fear and losing your nerve. Ooh. You want out of this. Make a choice. Don't use me as an excuse. I applaud Cassian for being honest in that moment. Just, just to set everything straight. Mm. Yeah, he's the reason why you're sitting there. I mean, Cassian's not a hero. Let's, let's, let's just say that out loud. <laughs> Karn was in the right to do what he did. And I don't blame him for being angry. She wants me to tell you about my brother. There's okay. a long version, but what matters is they killed him. He was a farmer. Imperial Prefect came in, took his land, flooded it. He couldn't fight him. He couldn't bear it, so he 
Went in a boat and filled his pockets with stones. <laughs> That's as close to an apology as you're gonna get. It's close enough. That was a great moment. I'm happy that happened. Where will you be? If all goes well, we'll see you tomorrow night. What are the girls doing? No farewells tonight. Plenty of work to do together tomorrow. What are they doing? Come on, Bix. I wish. I need more Bix. I don't know if we're done with Ferrix. You want to be useful? Go plead some coins. <laughs> He's nervous. It'll all be over this time tomorrow. Or will it just be starting? Well, that. I just hope it goes somewhat smooth. I don't think it will, but fingers crossed. Okay. Okay. I am so ready to get to the next episode because I'm going to see this go down. Thief, Andor. I wasn't careful. It'll all be over this time tomorrow. Or would it just be starting? What did he mean he wasn't careful about Andor? What did that mean? Is it because he's like such a wild card? I couldn't sleep. <laughs> it's natural. I need to be at my best. Struggling to understand why my faith doesn't calm me. I believe in something. Why am I so unsettled? I mean, you have nothing. You sleep like a stone. I write when I can't sleep. Easy. The role of mercenaries in the galactic struggle for freedom. My conclusion is simple. Weapons are tools. Those that use them are, by extension, functional assets that we must use to our best advantage. The Empire has no moral boundaries. Why should we not take hold of every chance we can? True. Let them see how an insurgency adapts. Well, you have right. The Empire doesn't play by the rules. Mm -hmm. And how am I wrong? They don't care enough to learn. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll sleep when it's done. I really like Nimic. They breed a sad combination of traits that make them particularly vulnerable to manipulation. On a practical level, they have great difficulty holding multiple ideas simultaneously. You put a number of options on the table, and they're so wrapped up in choosing, they fail to notice you've given them nothing they thought they wanted at the start. What began as 500 pilgrims at the bottom has already dwindled down to... Where are we now, Lieutenant? We counted 60 last night, sir. They may pick up some Highland stragglers along the way, but so far it's developing as we'd expect it. Have they any idea this is the last time they'll be allowed up here? No, mm. there's no problem in that. It is their sacred valley, is it not? Well, ultimately they will return, won't they, Colonel? When I mean, you need plenty of arms and legs to build all you've got planned. Wow. Wow. Would the Darnies let us build our new facility in peace? I don't see them having a choice. <laughs> the eye, Colonel. You're in for a treat. It really is something to see. Uh, just like eminent domain, and it just like makes my neck prick. Tonight must be perfect. That's the plan, sir. Perfect. I want that word ringing in your ears. It might go perfect, but it might not go perfect for them. Likes giving orders, doesn't he? Makes sense, right? They didn't tell you, did they? Mm. Didn't tell him anything. He was a stormtrooper. Oh. Really? Should have been here when Cinta found out. They slaughtered her whole family. Pick this up. Ooh, 
lot of reasons why people turned away from the Empire or wanted to fight against them. Is it the start of the meteor storm? The guests are arriving. Let's have a peaceful welcome. Well do, sir. I don't want anything to happen to these people, though. Escort! March! Great way to get in. Robota. Undressing Leonard. He's 12, he can dress himself. Come and look at this sash. <laughs> but you're None 15, you can't dress yourself. It's all compressed. Perhaps you've expanded. Colonel Pettigar will be making those decisions, though I want everyone on their best behavior this evening. I look forward to seeing that. Oh. Squad! Halt! Fui garo, fui spampachon. Ridoli, fi tachlur. Snofrang, quali vdocher. Okay, they blended. That's good. I think the other guys recognized they weren't just supposed to be there, but... Let's go. I'm excited for the eye. Right turn. With me. So far, so good. Which means it's all gonna go to shit soon. Cool shot. Why do I get the feeling that Val and Cinta are gonna be some badasses? No, they're shutting down right now. Everything's grounded. No one wants to be up in this. It's a miracle he didn't see her. Echo one. Echo one. Echo one, echo. Come on, Val. Echo one. We're here. On point. She's scared. Are we going or not? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Go. Go. Copy. Huh. <sighs> it makes my stomach turn. Capira Tarkia. <laughs> I like the old Downey people. I like them a lot. Our boys are almost in. I'm like getting nervous. But I don't want to be stuck in here. I want to watch the eye too. <laughs> Drop it. On the floor. What's all this? This is an outrage. Why? Stop talking. Stop right there. No, 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 no. Not the baby. Let the boy go. Oh, Cinta, badass. You'll never get out of here. Fucking bitch slapped him. We know about the vault and how it works. We need your hand to key the sensor. We can take just that if you'd prefer. You'll never make it out. Ooh. One path, one choice. We win or everyone dies. It starts now. Val. What's that supposed to happen? Oh good, oh good, oh good. Yes, 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 yes. Like jammed him, right? If you don't help us, your family will die. If you slow us down, if you stall. You kill us anyway. Because that's what you do, right? No. If we get what we came for, everyone walks away. But if we go down, you're right there with us. 14 minutes. Move. Tell me you'll be all right. I'll be fine. Go. I hope she'll be fine. I hate when they have those moments because you just never know what's going to happen. Clear. Just kind of like reminds me of like a fat, lazy politician type. Likes all the refinement in life. 
Looks down on people below him. Belt wouldn't reach. Hands on heads! Hands on your heads! You are gonna load us down as fast as possible! Anyone doesn't want to hustle for the next 10 minutes, raise your hand. All right, up! Up! <laughs> well, all their hands were raised, but my heart is racing. I want this to go smoothly, even though I know it's not, but I still want it to. And I don't want any of these Aldani people to be hurt. They're in. Go. I'm almost done. I'll be right behind you. Please be right behind him. Let's go! <laughs> Oh no. We've been. Get ready. Alkinzi should be calling in soon. Oh no. Well, this is where it starts to go wrong. Come on, bring it! Get it going, Ram! Move! Move! Oh god, I'm so tense. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, put that fat guy to work. Is it supposed to happen? Oh, yep, Gorn was ready. <laughs> I mean, it's not quite an Ocean's Eleven heist, but it's pretty freaking cool. Oh, are they turning everything off to prepare for the eye? Putting out all the fires? Seven years serving you. I deserve worse than that. Ooh. Mic drop. Oh my god, that's stunning. It's really cool to watch them actually get into those, too. What's going on here? You're off your post, Corporal! Sorry, sir, but this is a classified mission and you're not cleared to be here! Smart Gorn. I am giving you a direct order, Corporal! What is going on here? Sir. I mean, if he dies... Mmm. Mm. That Gorn that just got hit? Wait, that there's a guy that shouldn't be there. Who sends? I hate it. Oh God! Ah! Relax. Tie fighters are so cool. Please make it. Damn it! Cassian, I know you're gonna live. Obviously, you live, but like, oh. cool. Let's have it! Terramin and Gorn. That sucks. Ready, Cassian? Just like hurt Nimic, did it? I can't feel my legs. I can't. I can't feel my legs. Oh no. Keep him still. 
Beautiful. Climb. Move, climb now. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Climb. Oh god. Right into the eye. Stunning. Nemex, okay. This kid is the reason that we are here. He's the future. He is alive. How do we get to the doctor? Thank you, Cassian. Go. Oh. A four-handed doctor, a four-handed surgeon. That's exactly what you need. That's amazing. You want to guess how much is in there? Eighty million, give or take. Ooh, I don't make a dent. Forty million a piece. Don't tell me you haven't thought about it. See, I can't fly the trawler, but I do have a safe place we can hold up. Yes, and get up and walk away. Oh, I'm a rebel. It's just, uh... Are you against everybody else? Your brother with the orchard? I don't have a brother. Mm-hmm. I saw the first minute you came into camp. You're just like me. We were born in a hole, and all we know is climbing over somebody else to get out. <sighs> Catch our breath. Split up the winnings. Oh, 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 oh. Good call, Cassian. It's a very good call. Didn't see that coming from Skeen, but at the same time, not surprised. Thank you. Thank you for trying. Did Nemec die? He's dead. He wanted to take the money and leave you here. He wouldn't do that. You're gonna have to think about that. I'm taking my cut. The number I was promised. I'm leaving you the freighter and what's inside. I did my job. Wait. Nemec's manifesto. He said to give this to you. I don't want it. Take it. He insisted. Nemec died. What a man. There will be a fact-finding commission put in place this session, and it will prove sure that this is a boot to the throats of all Gormans. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> you might want to check like everyone else. Got anything from Aldani? 
Excuse me. Aldani. Big rebel attack last night. That's all we need. Maybe we have something in the back. Really? I was kidding. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, that's a lot of episodes to break down, but I think um, it, it, it's kind of like one long episode. Um, definitely Skeen from the beginning, I wasn't really a fan of. Um, we told the story of his brother. He definitely got some of my sympathies, but uh, yeah, no, he's, he's garbage. Nemec. I really, really enjoyed Nimic. He's a good kid. I don't know what Cassian's gonna do with his manifesto. I mean, besides it becoming like a playbook for the rebellion, but it's like like he had the passion and and he was the future of the rebellion. He was so sad. So happy that I gave this show another shot because I would have totally missed out on this episode. This episode alone was just not only visually stunning, obviously, because you have the eye, but then you have the the juxtaposition of this beautiful natural occurrence happening. And then you have these TIE fighters dropping and going in pursuit. And, you know, there's like a, a, a mini sky battle happening and... Tamarin and Gorn, unfortunately, didn't make it out. Um, Cinta did, but I don't know where she's going because she's still on the planet. Obviously, Vel is is wherever they landed. I don't think it gave us a location, but uh, it was wherever the doctor was. Um, that That's good to know that at least some people made it out. Very happy about Cassian's choice to, to get rid of Skeen. But, you know, you have, like, separate stories of, like, you know, what's going on with Karn and, like, him being with this unbearable woman that's his mother. And I, I think it's really sad that he had to, like, <laughs> leave Morla, and, or is it, was it Morla? Morlax, whatever it is. Then he had to go back and he had to live with his mother, who is a piece of work. Um, really just grates against him and uh, doesn't treat him well. And, uh, you know, if, if anything that's going to motivate him just to get the hell out of there, I don't know what his uncle is going to come up with, what he should do. But, I mean, really, I think Imperial Officer is where it's going to head. Um, I think that that's the next, like, natural progression of, like, where he was to where he wants to be. I don't think all of a sudden he's going to become a rebel. <laughs> um, but I, I really like Karn. And like I said, um, I don't know what episode I said it in, but for Karn, like, he's not in the wrong. He's not the enemy and he's not the bad guy. He was just doing his job. And yet maybe he should have listened to his higher up and then he wouldn't have been in that position, but he still tried to do the right thing. And like, we have to like, I have to forget sometimes that Cassian is not the hero in this story. He's very much not a hero whatsoever. He's a thief. Um, and and uh, although I am a big supporter of the Rebel Alliance, um, the means in which you start a rebellion often start with getting your hands dirty and blood is spilt. So, like I said, I like Karn. <laughs> is it is it De Dedra? Dedra? She is um, ambitious, uh, and and like again, she's just doing her job and she just wants to get it done. And Blevin, kind of. Uh, stopping her from doing that. I don't really know what that's about other than he doesn't want her to like climb the ranks. Um, I feel like they're all on the same side, so might as well help. Um, but I feel like she's going to discover things that we don't want her to discover, like plans. Um, especially now that the, uh, I don't know if he's a sergeant. I, I, I have a hard time remembering names, especially when I watch three episodes. I don't have like really the, the, want or desire to go back and like figure out who each other is especially if i have to look it up on my phone like stuff gets spoiled that way but i just say keeping them there until midnight to come up with a plan shit hit the fan and it's quite possible she could have prevented it not that i think that she would have discovered what was going on in aldani but like the fact that like her and the guy that she's working with kind of like figured out that like 
the rebels are kind of doing things and things that aren't related and that they're not going to the same places. They're not dipping their toes into the same well and climbing over the same fences that they're, they're kind of acting as though it's random and it's almost too random to be random, which I don't really like that line. I feel like I'm like, ah, that's kind of sounds like a fun line to throw in a script for somebody to say, but you know, it's like, she's onto something. She gets that there's a pattern to something like, like she has a gut feeling. Uh, she's going to be trouble. Now, Mon Mothma and her husband, her husband is horrible. Her child is ungrateful. Um, but I don't know uh, what led them to that moment. If, like, she's always been kind of absent or, like, not really have acted like a mother and was there. And now she's just doing it for optics. That could be the case. Um, but she doesn't get a lot of respect. And and even when she's, like, in the Senate, everyone's, like, talking or people didn't even show up. They're not in their little senatorial pods and everything. So she doesn't she doesn't get a lot of respect. Now, Luthen, like, he was getting nervous before everything was set in motion. He was getting nervous a lot, and he didn't know if he could depend on Cassian. And I wasn't quite sure, like, what he meant by, like, you know, he didn't do everything that he could when it came to Cassian. I, I don't really know what that's about. Um, but uh, definitely, like, the, the when they were all talking about, like, the day before or the night before, or even the day of, just your nerves getting to you and everything, but then, like, the energy, like, really helping you through that. I really like that. I really like that moment that Nimic had where he kind of just was like, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. I like the juxtaposition also of like a bank heist or like just a heist period going on with this like natural like thing happening with the eye and just like that was stunning. That was gorgeous. Like I don't blame those officers from the Empire like for, the, 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 like, for them wanting to watch that. I totally get it. I totally get it. But like that, that was visually just stunning. I know that's not the major takeaway, but like the fact that this is a television show and we get visuals like that, you know, I actually just watched um, an episode of House of the Dragon where you could barely see anything because it was so dark. And then you have this where it was just like everything was 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 dark and moody and broody. But then you had this, you know, beautiful, bright, stunning light, this this light show in the sky, like just stunning. I, I'm so happy that I started watching this again. And I will say that like even episode four, like I knew kind of what had happened in that episode. I mean, it had been months ago, but the fact that I'm, I'm sitting here rewatching it and I'm just like, I don't feel like I'm bored right now. So I definitely think it was my frame of mind. It was where my head was at. And, and I, I'm happy that I'm back. I'm happy that I'm giving it another try. It's so good to be back. It's so good to be here. Now what's next for Cassian? Because obviously he's not going to go return the the crystal to Luthen. I don't know where he's going now, if he's going to go back to Ferex. Because um, it seemed like they went back to Ferex to kind of set up um, the Empire being in Ferex. Um, Morlana, not Morva. Morlana won. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Synapse is fired finally. So if he does go back, there is going to be a strong Imperial presence there, um, which is not good for Cassian. Um, I don't know if they're still looking for him necessarily um, because the security team failed. So I don't know, but I, I do have a feeling because Karn still had the 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 thing, the, the disc with Cassian's face on it, that that's going to still be a problem. I don't think he's going to go it alone. I don't think I don't think Karn's built for that. So that's why I keep thinking he's he's probably going to just walk right on over to the Empire. It would be smart and it would get him out of his mom's house because she seems lovely. I don't know. I mean, we, he also has to go back because that's where Marva is. Um, That's where Bix is. So hopefully he would go back to them and kind of help them out. I mean... Luthen has to get his 200 credits to, or his 200,000 credits to him. So I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I don't know. Rebel banks, or are those a thing? And we have to catch up with Brasso. I really liked Brasso. He's a really good friend. Really good friend. I don't know if, if like, uh, Cassian takes us all over the place or not, or if we're just kind of, like, Coruscant with Luthen and then, you know, Ferrex. Um, but I still think that Cassian's going to be searching for his sister. Um, I would really hope that he would find her. Um, if not, at least find out information about her and her whereabouts or what had happened to her. Um, I'm sure we're not done with that story yet. <laughs> but where this takes us from here, I have no idea. 
I mean, now the the rebellion has been born. It is on its way. It is starting. There is um, a ruckus. I mean, you, you could see Luthen at the end, like, very excited about it. But, like, relieved, but excited, but also happy. Because, like, he knows it started. He knows that it's... There, there's no stopping it now. It's either going to go until it's extinguished or it's going to conquer. I still don't know. I still don't know if, if we would say that the, the rebellion, the rebel alliance was um, successful. We look at the Mandalorian and, you know, there's still very much an imperial presence. So they didn't wipe them all out, but like just definitely kept them from becoming as strong as they possibly could. Okay, guys, if you want to watch the full-length reactions to all three episodes, it will be available on my Patreon, as well as early episodes to other shows that I'm reacting to, including The Expanse, Vox Machina, House of the Dragon. Uh, also, Severance is coming up. Um, the Bad Batch, which just started today, and I haven't watched it yet, and I'm dying. Uh, so I wanted to put Andor first. So here we are. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below of the three episodes that I watched today. Which one was your favorite? Because I think the eye, the eye is, is it for me. Although I will say that the, the previous episode, Nemec was like the shining star of that episode. And just like, you know, his, his passion, his thoughtfulness, like just everything about Nemec, I just, I want to give that baby a hug. But really, what was your favorite episode? I don't think anyone's going to say four. And if you do, I think you're just trolling me. But tell me why. <laughs> okay, guys. I am going to do um, various episodes in different order. Obviously, these three. And then I think we have two, two, two. Yeah. My editor is breaking it up in a way that makes sense. That way, I'm not just doing one episode at a time. I have multiple episodes, so there is plenty to see. But uh, like I said, on Patreon, the full-length reaction for each episode will be available. So if you really want to watch me watch this, <laughs> go over there. It's a good time. But in the meantime, I'll see you.